Thorium nuclear reactors are one of the most coveted emerging technologies to exist today. Their obvious advantages make them an attractive proposition that's largely been forgotten about since they were first designed in the 1960s. But now, China wants to use this technology to power an entire fleet of container ships that, if successful, could disrupt the entire shipping industry. So how likely is this to happen, and when could we realistically see thorium-powered ships navigating the oceans? Theoretically, thorium-powered nuclear reactors have many advantages compared to their traditional counterparts. Thorium is more abundant in the Earth's crust compared to uranium, produces less waste, doesn't need to be enriched, and the molten salt reactors that would use thorium are designed to have passive safety features, making them essentially meltdown-proof. Except, this technology isn't proven to work at scale just yet. Since their first designs in the 1960s, the proliferation of uranium-powered pressurised water reactors meant that the need to develop thorium-powered molten salt reactors was not really something of a priority. But now, things are beginning to change. Countries like Canada, India, Norway and Japan have all carried out research into designing these fourth-generation nuclear reactors. But China's development of its 2 megawatt prototype thorium-powered reactor puts it towards the front of the race to develop this technology. Located in the Gobi Desert, the TMSR-LF1 reactor is undergoing experimental testing, and if successful, the technology could be used to power a new generation of megaships, according to the China State Shipbuilding Corporation. The state company unveiled plans for a thorium-powered ship that could carry 24,000 shipping containers matching the largest container ships today. Whilst a study carried out by the American Bureau of Shipping concluded that nuclear-powered ships like this could run for 25 years without the need for refueling, giving them huge operational advantages compared to oil-powered container ships of today, which need to refuel once or twice a month. Ships like the proposed KUN-24AP could completely disrupt the shipping industry, which currently requires 4 million barrels of oil per day, and is a step towards the decarbonisation of the shipping industry. But how soon we are really likely to see these types of ships in the oceans is up for debate. China expects to begin producing commercially available molten salt reactors by the early 2030s, but according to many experts, even this timeline is ambitious. In the meantime, it's likely that Generation 3 SMRs based on conventional PWR technology that has been tried and tested for 50 years will begin to take the market share to power ships in the meantime. Their use in military aircraft carriers and icebreaker ships will only become more prevalent. But the exciting developments and applications that thorium-based reactors offer mean that the sector's progress over the next decade should definitely be one to follow, as it helps usher us into a new era of clean and abundant nuclear power. <laughs>